Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. In this short video, we're just going to see how you can enable the text-to-speech feature. That's to have your MacBook uh, read text uh, back to you. Uh, just let's say you've got maybe dyslexia or you just feel uh, you don't want to read the text and you want to have your uh, MacBook read it back to you. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I want to say thanks to those that have already subscribed to the channel. So let's dive in. I will just start by showing, uh, by playing like a sample. For instance, uh, using the preview app, I would, I can just go to um, text, uh, that's edit, then go to speech and say start speaking. So new features available with Mac you, OS Sonoma, Mac OS Sonoma, new features, December, you can see it's, it's reading two. Key the text and for me. So, uh, screen savers, screen go back savers, to edit, stunning screen savers. Then stop. Uh, how do you do this? Uh, it's, it's, it's easy. Basically what you need to do is go to, uh, the Apple logo that's or your, or to get to your settings. So go to system settings. On the system settings, you go to accessibility, accessibility, then you go to spoken content, click on spoken content, uh, speak selection. So there are options here, but if you go for uh, speak, you know, speak selection, it means you're turning this on, you're activating this. I'll show you the difference between this and what I just uh, did with uh, the text there. You can decide what, what voice, you know, is uh, going to read out the text to you. For example, now it's set to Nikki. And if I play, hello, my name is Nikki. You can see that's the sample. Uh, we can set that to something else. Uh, I think I saw Rishi somewhere. Well, <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Hello, my name is Rishi. So you see, you can, you can just use any voice you want. And then you can also change uh, the language you want. So uh, let's say, I, I, I saw some uh, comments about uh, Spanish. So I'll just speak, let's say Spanish, for example, you can say. Hola, me llamo Monica. Hola, uh, Monica. I, I don't, I, I don't speak Spanish, but uh, okay, let's, let's stick to, to English, um, English, 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 English. Okay. Fine, let's stick to English Hello, and my name is Rishi. Rishi. One more thing you can do is to set a key combination. So for example, now it's set to option escape. I can set it to something else by pressing, say maybe option S for instance. So what that means is each time I I select so this is speak selection each each time I select a text I have my browser here so each time I select a text I can press the combination the key selection to have um, my MacBook read it back to me the text so for example since I've selected uh, key, a key combination of where is it? Uh, a key combination of uh, option S. So if I select a text somewhere, any doc, any type of document, and I press uh, option S. Harry Potter is a series of seven fans. Rishi is going to read, well, that's the voice where I selected. So it's going to read that uh, text for me. So let me, where is it? Um, Option S. Again. Harry Potter is a series of seven fantasy novels written by British author J.K. Rowling. The novels chronicle the lives of a and young you wizard. Can control, Harry Potter you can either, and his... I can either pause, let it continue playing, or just uh, uh, quit. So that's that's one option, and that's where you can set the voice and uh, either uh, choose the language as well. Another way of having, which I think is my preferred uh, method of just having my PC read stuff to me is, for example, if we've got this document, 
uh, this file PDF file so all you need to do is open it with the preview app so preview is inbuilt uh, it comes with all, all the um, Mac OS versions so just go to um, edit and speech if you just say start speaking, Mac OS Sonoma new features December you see this time the voice is uh, Rishi's voice that is reading screen the savers, text to you. Screen savers, stunning screen savers, featuring slow motion so you can just listen around the world and, and like stop the sky. if you like anytime pause or increase the speed. So that's that's essentially it. I would like to thank you for watching this and if you found this uh, useful do consider subscribing, uh, like and share with anyone you think might find it useful as well. And thanks once again to my returning subscribers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.